this is definitely the least popular topic in the whole of GCSE maths. Circle theorems, circle theorems, circle theorems. Let's have a look and see if we can do this problem solving question. The question says that ABDE, so ABDE is a cyclic quadrilateral. ABC and EDC are straight lines. We're told that angle DBC, so DBC is 60 degrees. And then it says, given that the ratio of the size of angle EAB to BCD is two to one, work out the size of angle BCD. You must show all of your working. So what can we do? Well, first off, I've noticed that it said that ABDE, ABDE is a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, what do we know about cyclic quadrilaterals? We know that the opposite angles in cyclic quadrilaterals add up to 180 degrees. Now, I've also spotted that we can have a situation over here around point B where we have the angles on a straight line adding up to 180. So what can we say? Well, we can say that this angle here is going to be 120. And the reason is because angles on a straight line add to 180. This is a straight line ABC. So we can do 180 minus 120. And that is going to give, sorry, minus 60. I did the calculation and wrote the answer straight away. So minus 60 is going to give us 120. Now, what does that mean? Opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add to 180. So this angle over here is going to be 180 minus a 120. So we can write that out, 180 minus 120. So that one is going to be 60. So this one here is going to be 60. Now, how can we think about combining our information with our ratios? We're told that the ratio of EAB, so EAB to BCD is 2 to 1. Now, what does that mean? It means it's twice as big. So if we said that angle BCD was X, then angle EAB is going to have to be double that. So it's going to have to be 2X. So this one over here is going to have to be 2X. Now, how could this help us? Let's have a closer look. So work out the size of BCD, this angle here. Now, what I've noticed is that we actually have a larger triangle. A, C, E. What do we know about the angles in triangles? Well, we know that they have to add to make 180. So we can actually set up an equation and solve it for X. How are we going to do it? Well, we know that the angle 60 plus the angle 2X plus the angle X, so 60 plus 2X plus X are going to have to add together to give 180. Now we can rearrange this for X. 2X plus X is going to be 3X. And then I'm also going to minus 60 from both sides to get 120 on the right hand side. Now to get the X on its own, I can divide by three. We're going to get that X is equal to 40. The question asked for the size of angle BCD, BCD. So we've now worked out the size of the angle because the angle BCD there is just X. So there we used a couple of circle theorems. We used the opposite angles in a cyclic 